Hello, my name is Nicola Tickley and I am a field application engineer with ST Microelectronics. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the digital power controller ST Energy 011. I will start with the high level features of the ST Energy 011 digital combo PFC and LLC controller. I will then describe more in detail what there is inside the ST Energy 011 and why it is an excellent choice for high efficiency power suppliers. And finally, I'll briefly show you the evaluation ecosystem available from ST Microelectronics. If you want more information about this device, I'll provide you with references to other videos and documentation at the end of this video. ST Energy 011 is a digital combo IC that integrates both PFC and LLC controllers. It combines key features of typical analog controllers like high voltage startup, integrated gate drivers, no firmware needed, and it can achieve very low standby power. On the other side, it provides the key benefits of digital controllers, like high level of configurability, remote monitoring, and black box recording with UART and I2C communication interfaces. Let's now take a look at the typical characteristics of target applications for ST Energy 011. The typical power levels are from 90 watt to 300 watt. Usually, there is a main CPU that will communicate with the ST Energy 011 via I2C or UART, and there are requirements for meeting stringent energy saving regulations. Based on those characteristics, uh, the typical applications are power adapters for computers and for TVs, industrial and medical equipment, LED drivers that require connectivity for remote monitoring and control. Now let's go more in detail on what there is inside uh, this device. In the block diagram, you can see the main building blocks of ST Energy 011. On the top right, you can see the built-in high voltage startup circuit that allows this controller to start without the need of an additional housekeeping power supplier. On the top left, you can see the gate drivers for PFC and LLC with one amp peak current for the most demanding of MOSFETs. These two features combined are the key to reduce the bomb of the power supplier. Most digital controllers do not have these blocks and require external components to take care of these functions. On the bottom, you can see the 8-bit microcontroller with 10-bit high-speed ADC to allow for a precise control and monitoring of the digital power supply. The device also integrates a non-volatile memory that stores the numerous configuration parameters. Finally, this device uh, has a UART and I2C communication interfaces that allow the configuration of the digital power supply as well as remote monitoring or black box logging of the activity. Let's take a look now at the high level functionality of the two logical macro blocks present in the Stenergy 011. The first block uh, is the front end uh, PFC controller. The inputs to this block are the output voltage and the PFC current information coming from the auxiliary winding of the PFC choke. The mode of operation of this PFC is based on ramp enhanced constant on time, which is a modified version of the standard constant on time with the proprietary ST algorithm to compensate for the current caused by the input filter capacitors. This algorithm improves uh, power factor and THD. In order to optimize efficiency, the PFC automatically switches from transition mode at high loads to valley skipping at low loads and burst mode at very low loads. In addition, it also implements an optional skipping area mode that essentially stops the switching activity when the input voltage is around zero voltage crossing. Skip area mode allows to improve efficiency at the expense of THD. The second macro block in the ST Energy 011 is the LLC controller. The LLC controller is based on one more ST proprietary control IP called the Time Shift Control. Time Shift Control provides two major advantages compared to a direct frequency control. 
First, dynamic load performance is greatly improved. Second, it provides anti-capacitive mode protection. To evaluate this device, ST provides a fully integrated evaluation platform. In particular, we offer a demo board named Eval ST Energy 011-150 with a GUI that allows customers to easily evaluate the controller on a real and working solution. The demo board delivers 150 watt at 12 volt and it accepts wider range AC voltage from 90 volt to 264 volt. The demo board comes with an interface board and a dedicated graphical user interface. The interface board provides electrical insulation between the PC and the ST Energy 011 board, as well as the ability to utilize a USB port to communicate with the ST Energy 011 via the built in UART. The GUI gives access to all the parameters of the device, and it also provides real time status of the power supply. There are a total of 85 different parameters that allow to tailor the power supply performance. These parameters include PFC tuning, LLC tuning, multiple protections, filtering, and burst mode parameters. To close the overview of the ST Energy 011 evaluation board, I want to quickly mention its performance. As you can see in the main table, the efficiency of the board is good across the full range of output power, but the most impressive performance is at low or no load. The no load consumption of 70 mW at 115 volt AC and 93 mW at 230 volt AC is really low and is very difficult to achieve with any other digital controllers. In order to help anybody who gets this evaluation board, I'm going to show you step by step how to access and modify the configuration parameters of ST Energy 011. First basic step is to connect the interface board to the PC using the supplied USB cable and to the evaluation board using the 6-wire ribbon cable present in the kit. Second, make sure that the evaluation board is not connected to the AC line. Now go to the GUI and click Enter ATE mode present in the ATE mode menu. After this command, you will see on the interface board a red LED turning on, which means that the interface board is supplying power to the ST Energy 011 device. At this point, we are ready to access the parameters. Click on NVM operations in the tools menu and then click read from IC on the NVM operations window that just opened. Please note that if you don't click on read from IC, the GUI will show you its own default values for each parameters, but they don't have anything to do with the values in the device. Now you can modify any of the parameters of your interest. When you are done with the changes, you need to write uh, the changes uh, by clicking on uh, Write to IC. After you do this, the parameters are written into the non-volatile memory, and at next power on, they will be used. In order to do a test uh, with this new configuration, you need to exit uh, ATE mode, which is done by clicking on Go Run mode in the ATE mode menu, present on the main GUI window. Now you can connect the AC line and test the board with the new configuration. In this short video, I provided you with an overview of the ST Energy 011 device, but you can find much more information on st.com website, and you can also find a longer video on youtube.com. For the video, please search for ST Energy 011 on youtube.com. While for the documentation, uh, please go on st.com and search for ST Energy 011 or for the evaluation board, uh, eval ST Energy 011 150. Thanks for watching and goodbye.